Welcome back to Tipton Bros. Today, we will be discussing one of the most infamous attacks of the First World War that would come to be known as the Attack of the Dead Men. July 1915, the Germans would launch one last offensive to take the stubborn position of the fortified Russians. This would be considered the third and final attack on Osovic Fortress by the German forces during the First World War. Headed by Paul von Hindenburg, the advancing Germans were well equipped, having over 14 infantry battalions, roughly 25 heavy siege guns, over 30 batteries of artillery, and one battalion of sappers. The Germans opted to use chlorine gas as they knew the Russians were ill-equipped and lacked gas masks, making it an obvious choice. August 6 was selected because of the favorable wind conditions, giving the Germans their best shot at overwhelming the dwindling Russian forces. In the early hours of the morning, at roughly 4 a.m., an intense artillery barrage ensued, decimating Russian forces and creating disorganization amongst their ranks. The worst was yet to come for the Russian defenders, because as soon as the artillery had slowed, a much more gruesome fate awaited them. Chlorine gas silently crept towards the Russian lines, sweeping across the landscape and killing anything in its path, turning the grass black and vibrant tree leaves yellow. Pouring into the Russian trenches, the chlorine gas overwhelmed the Russian soldiers, who desperately tried to survive, many electing to use cloth soaked in water or urine to buffer their inhalation of the toxic fumes, but these efforts would prove to be futile. The Russian lines lay in ruins, with a small fraction of men remaining, but in poor condition. Roughly 7,000 German troops from the 11th Landwehr Division cautiously approached the desolate Russian position that seemed to be utterly devoid of life. Drawing near, the Germans were left in shock, as they watched Russian troops empty from their positions with bayonets fixed, coughing, spattering blood and pieces of lung tissue, gas burns riddling their faces and other exposed flesh, their crude cloth masks soaked in blood. Out of sheer terror, the Germans began a fearful retreat, becoming disorganized and panicked. The remaining Russian machine guns opened up on the backpedaling Germans, mowing down rows of the attackers. The quickly expiring Russians used their last bit of energy to ward off the German attack, many getting into hand-to-hand -hand combat. Countless Russians pursued and fought until they could do no more, as even they had come to understand that their demise was inevitable and the gas had taken its toll. In the end, on August 18th, the Germans secured the position, but it was the Russians who would be remembered leading one of the most revered counterattacks in modern history that is still talked about to this day, not only for the macabre aspects, but for the pieces of heroism and acts of valor displayed by the Russians on that fateful day, in addition to all the men who served during the First World War. Thanks for watching, and we will be putting out similar content in the future. Again, we are a small channel, so hitting that like button and subscribing is greatly appreciated. We hope to see you next time on Tipton Bros.